blue and pretty. Yo, and before we get started, I just wanted to say that uh, this tattoo is basic. It's not no crazy in-depth, uh, detail-oriented piece. Very difficult with me with these cameras, so basically it's just going to be pointed down. I'm going to do the best that I can do, both on the tattoo and with the camera. Uh, uh, bear with me. And for those, yeah, my arm, one last time for you haters, man. My arm has been through hell. This arm almost got chopped off in Iraq, dude. It, you know, I got shrapnel right here. Do you want to see the scar? It, it goes from here all the way down, dude. You see that, hater? It cut my main artery. I bled out. You know what I'm saying? So, to you, hater, on that. Because that shit has been more than you will be your whole life, man. Fuck. Like, get over the fucking arm, dude. I got scratch marks all over my body, bro. I mean, I, I have things from when I was nine years old on my body from a homemade tattoo gun that I made at a guitar string and a little motor. Eleven years old. Nine, nine years old was my first machine. Eleven years old, I dug ink. Eleven years old was my first professional tattoo, which is right there. Eleven years old, brother, when was yours? Stop hating, dude. Hey, and it, you're probably a great artist. Don't get me wrong. I'm just, <clears throat> I can expect the haters, and I don't want to go out of control and waste a lot of these guys and these viewers' times about hating, but bro, kick back, dude. You know what I mean? Like, you hated on me uh, a week ago, but you showed up here to talk more shit. <laughs> Why do you keep coming back to my page, dog? If you're, if you're a professional artist in the shop, Hey, if you if you listen to what I'm saying, I'm a scratcher, dude. I'm a scratcher. Alright? I do I do my work from home until the shop opens in San Jose, you know, and I become professional. I'm doing this out of the convenience of being mobile, dude. You know, mobile tats by cage. What do you want me to do? You know? I'm learning along with anything else. But the science of this, the technologies of this, the things that, that I don't need to put needle into the skin to understand how it works. The physics, the geometry, the scientific uh, advances. You know, it, it, it's like God has put the light on my brain and it just flows through. I don't know, dude. I light incense. I draw. I listen to music. I create music. I make beats. I record music. I... I I do anything and everything that I possibly can to keep myself stimulated. I'm absolutely passionate about this. Now let's get on with my video. Alright, so I'm going to be doing a Minnie Mouse traditional flash tattoo. Um, I'm not gay, I'm not against gays, but this is why I chose this design. I chose this design for my leg because it has great line, work in it, um, and it sinks a lot of color. Okay, so it, it is a good tattoo for your lining experience and your color partial shading, especially color and lining. It's got different line weights as well through the uh, tattoo to where, you know, it's thicker line than it gets into thinner. It's called line weight. And as a professional artist, you will study line weight. And um, we all need to study more line weight. It's, it's really simple to see. And I didn't know this until I was shown, but whoa, there's actually a good tattoo and a bad tattoo, even if it looks perfect. And it's called line weight. Um, so, here, I'm starting my, uh, my stencil. I've got my Minnie Mouse stencil here. And what I do is I cut it out of the transfer paper so I don't get that stuff on my hands as I'm going. I taped it down to a hard surface, which is my glass table at this point, And I'm going to start from the top down. I am using a Sharpie liquid pencil, actually. It's a liquid pencil, so it's kind of cool. It's a, uh, a pencil, but kind of like a pen, but it erases very well, and it's just like a pencil. <clears throat> I, I found that the point of this allows me to do really intricate things as well as fat. Also, keep in mind that you want to you wanna trace this as you would tattooing. So on a liner, you're going to go only forward, left, and right. 
practice that while you're tracing. So if I was going to do this line, I would take it in here and I'd go to the right and then up. I'd go up, complete that full circuit if I can, okay? Then I'm going to come back around, do it up. I'm going to go up. Practice that on your stencils as you do them. Take it up. Okay? Take it up. I've got a big loop right in here. Go ahead and take it all the way up. The objective here, as well as in your tattoo, is to complete that full solid line without stopping. A solid, consistent movement and depth the whole way. And it actually applies to your stencil as well. And also the way that I've done this is going to enable you to lift it back up and see how much progress you have and how much, uh, how much of that uh, transfer has gotten to the back, to the rear of that. And it will come back backwards, therefore you don't have to draw it backwards. So it's a good, a good thing that I do and uh, it's a good way to practice your tattooing skills as well. You're going to hold the pen just like you would a tattoo and technically if you want to even get better than that, put this pencil or pen inside of an empty tattoo and use the weight of that. Awesomeness. Circles are going to be the hardest. Anytime you're doing a circle, that's the hardest. But all these lines that you see go up. Go up, left, and right, just as you would in the tattoo. You're going to get yourself the hang of it. And if you attach a machine to this bad boy, you're really going to get the hang of it and the, and the weight. Because a lot of you guys are probably having problems with weight of the machine. They make lighter machines, lightweights, and then they make heavyweights. Some people like light and some people like heavy. I like both. Shading I like uh, heavy and lining I like light. I like fatter grips when I'm shading. And when I'm lining, I like um, thinner. Although the half inch, they don't really make it anymore. People don't like to use them because it contributes to carpal tunnel, carpal tunnel syndrome. So, I don't know. My hands are all jacked up from fighting and shit. So, I don't do that anymore. I don't, I'm not a fighter. I'm a lover. So trace this and outline this as you would your stencil, as you would your tattoo. Yeah, trust me, you're going to get better. Focus on the grip because when you're lining, it's pretty much like a pen or a pencil when you're doing this. And this isn't drawing. This is basically just tracing. So it's not rocket science. It's uh, technique. It is science, but it's not rocket science. We'll get into rocket science later. It's a joke. So, I'm going to line this as I would the tattoo. That's basically what I'm getting at, alright? And the cool thing about tacking this down, cutting out your stencil to the paper, like I said, you're not going to get too much here of that transfer on your skin if it was like a big sheet. So just cut that out of that area, tack it down with some tape, and you can lift up and check your progress. You know what I mean? You can check it. And of course they make different transfer, they make good ones, bad ones, um, just check the price, that's all you got to do. Check the price to see if it's good or bad, it's real simple, you get what you paid for. You get, um, and don't be buying this stuff from your local shops and stuff, man, they charge like a buck to two bucks a sheet. You can get, you know, for six, seven bucks you can get a whole thing of these. Tattoo shops and stuff like that around your local cities and towns are going to charge you an ass full of money for anything. Especially smoke shops that don't know what the hell they're doing. They'll charge 20 bucks for, you know, a, a bottle this big, you know what I mean? A bottle this big. What is this, a freaking half ounce bottle, 20 bucks? Give me a break. I'd rather wait. But then again, if you're on the go and you need it, with black though, you can make your own. 
get some uh, carbon, make some carbon, burning wood or metal, mix it with some baby oil or some of that witch hazel and you're good to go. Anyways, I'm going to speed up this portion of the video so I don't bore you. Alright, so I got my stencil, it's all done, I'm going to go ahead and uh, light me a, a incense real quick, I don't know, maybe just a small little tip, light some incense, every time that I've recorded music, or produced music, or created beats, drawn, uh, just zoned out and thought about life, I've always lit incense. And every time that I light incense, it inspires me. I don't know why. But that might be a short little, small little tip for you. Don't know what it is, guys. It's like for some people smoking weed, you know what I mean? It expands their mind. Shit, I wish I could still smoke weed, you know? If I wasn't so panicky, you know what I mean? So, right now I've got everything set up. I've got my water cup. I've got my A and D. I've got uh, my ink. Oh, check it out. Kirasumi is what I'm going to be using. And it's crazy, but the consistency. I left this overnight on purpose just to see what would happen. And you know what is amazing about this Kirasumi is... Overnight, and I'm talking probably a lot longer than overnight. Look at that. It's still liquid. A lot of any other ink out there that I've used would have been dried up and crystallized by now. That's still good shit. So, uh, although their shipping sucks, it took two weeks to get here. Customer service sucks. Karasumi.com. I'm mad at you guys. You never responded to me. It took two weeks, but I'm gonna use your ink. And I uh, did some lines yesterday, and they they came out pretty well. Um, so yeah, they came out pretty good actually. It's a pretty good ink. Um, I can't lie, but I probably won't ever order again because I'm like that. You screw me once, I'm I'm done. You know what I mean? That's it. And Kirasumi. You screwed me. Two weeks from New York. Come on now. Doesn't take two weeks. Plus, really the bad thing about Kirasumi was uh, I responded really politely, really professionally. Um, asked about where, where it was, you know. Hey, I don't have a tracking number. Um, where is it? Nothing back to this day. So, I'll be done with them. Talons Inc. I'll be using that. So, I'm going to go ahead and grab my stuff. I've got my disinfectant, my green soap, my stencil, my placement, um, my gloves, and there's something, oh, my stencil stuff, homemade or other, now we're going to do a stencil stuff homemade video later, but uh, right now I'll go ahead and use, yeah. I don't know, this stuff's pretty good. Stencil stuff. And that's pretty good. But I have a green bottle somewhere around here. Yeah. That I made. And I like it better. And I'll show you guys how to make this stuff in a later time and date. As for deodorant sticks, 
No. Don't do deodorant sticks, okay? Deodorant sticks aren't, uh, they're not proper. You know what I mean? They're not, they're not good. You use one stick on someone like this, then you go use it on somebody else. You're going to spread MRSA or worse, Hep C. Um, if you do decide to use a deodorant stick, then use a tongue depressor and scrape some of that off and use it. Don't ever use that deodorant stick on each other like that. It's not healthy. All right, so right here you can see a lot of scratch work. And actually, right in here, this isn't scratch work. This bed is definitely not scratch work. Uh, Boyd, if you're watching, that was my latest one. So uh, along with uh, a good friend of mine <clears throat> showing me some good tricks and tips there. But uh, yeah, eat your heart out, Boyd. Okay, so um, I think the lines here were done by a, uh, a Seth, I, I believe. A, a Seth machine. But uh, I dropped some lines yesterday here and right up in this area okay so we're scratching on this area because this is so old you're talking four or five years old same with up in here with this rose and stuff like that I just freehanded and dropped some color in there I was trying to get that color in there just like you guys are man and so hopefully today things turn out good I'm learning with you guys but uh, with with the learning and with the videos and just keep supporting and support that movement we're gonna get this going man in Montana bro I just got your message that you uh, ordered a camera dude if I read that correctly man you didn't have to do that shit dude like man you're gonna have to get a you're gonna have to get a machine from me man <laughs> alright you're gonna have to be one of the first ones to grab one of my machines for a uh, discounted price zero you're awesome Montana dude you've been there from the gate along with a couple other you guys um, I'm, I'm in this little black book right here ladies and gentlemen this little black book that I have right here you guys are in this alright um, let me give you guys a couple of tips real quick alright here's another secret file down tips at a 45 degree angle these are notes that I've taken since Pinky back in the early 2000s. He passed away. Um, and this is all the notes that I take. I even have my inventions in here that I sketch real quick. Um, here, quick shot. Shoop. Shoop. Can't let you see this, but you guys are going to love this. Holy crap. Yeah, these, these pages are filled with awesomeness. Winning. Period. I got a shirt right here. It's going to be, look at, check it out. A cat with his tongue hanging out, scratching. That's what I do. <laughs> so anyways, yeah. Um, getting it in too deep. Getting it in too deep. So, oh yeah, that's a good one. I haven't even drawn that yet, but, uh, woo! Woo! Some hot topics in here, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> and little by little, every day, I, I give you guys something out of here. Every day, I don't know if you notice, but every day, a little something comes out of this black book. But uh, Montana, you're up in here. You know what I'm saying? A couple of you schlebs, you're up in here. Uh, a couple of you other guys are up in here. Anyway, check this out. Once you guys start sending me my artwork and, and, and watercolors and stuff, bro, it's going into a, a folder. And we're going to look back together on this because eventually, guys, I'm going to be doing conventions and going to your, your cities and your towns. And we're going to be meeting in person. We're going to be hanging out. I'm going to be meeting your wives. You're going to be meeting mine, my kids. Um, you know what I mean? So, you know, so, hell yeah. Hell yeah. See, that's Studio 5 right there. See, Studio 5, Montana, uh slab even fucking big boy you guys are all in the top right there dude and uh you're, you're gonna go you're gonna go you know you guys are the 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 true soldiers of the freaking movement and i'm gonna appoint you guys that's no joke you guys are my leaders dude that's no joke um let me not respond to that right now but uh yeah let me get this going so basically i got i i've got my stencil 
and it's ready and it's gonna match my Betty I'm probably gonna put it up in here um, <clears throat> it's hard for me to work but yeah I'm gonna put it right above right above her um, we'll do Betty Boop and then Minnie right here uh, so hopefully this one had some hard healing to it right here you know it's been a couple weeks you know that's been about a month and it still has some hard healing right in this area because in this area it was first it was the the black shading right up underneath of her ass and then the red was brought back up underneath the, the black right here and it created that scab so that was only twice <clears throat> that was twice right there and I've got a little bit of touch ups to do on that but she came out really good so let's apply this stencil I'm gonna use some uh, and we'll go through another video too how to make some your own stencil stuff <clears throat> my hands are washed uh, let me get some gloves on at this point let's get rocking man and this part of the area of the thigh is really good to work on because it's real thick yeah I know there's not a lot of fat here you know well, it could be. I don't know. But on me, there's no fat here, really. It's just skinny-ass chicken legs. So, basically, I've got some good tenderness right here to work on, opposed to my stomach. But although, I, I dropped this in, and, and it, it came out pretty good, and, and this one over here. So, you know, they're, they're coming out pretty good. This, um, the pain threshold here, <clears throat> excuse me, man, I'm coming out with cold. But um, the pain threshold here is... Is okay. It's very tolerable to work on yourself. When you start getting into the inner thigh area, uh, calf is okay, but the inner thigh area, it really starts to hurt. So, I thought I'd stop recording for a minute. I can't believe you, Montana. That's awesomeness. Alright, so I'm going to apply a liberal amount, okay, in this whole general area. Of, of this area. I'm gonna spread it around. I did shave already. I had a shaving video, but it looks like a porno, so you guys know how to shave. Make sure you use a, a good razor, though. You don't want razor bumps through the course of your tattoo. Those cheap ass bics that the, the shops use, man, <clears throat> I'm not, I wouldn't, I'm not gonna do that when I'm in a shop, dude. I'm gonna have, you know, I, I know that you can't be buying like $10 freaking for everybody. But at the same time, those cheap little orange freaking whatever disposables, they suck, man. They irritate your skin, but I, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Um, you want to make sure this is tacky. It's not soaked, but it's not, uh, you know, it's not. Uh... So anyways, I got it I got it wet, okay? And this is this is so difficult for me, guys. But, um, so it's really saturated right now. I usually just take a napkin and go ahead and wipe that off. And just where it's tacky, you don't want it too soaked because what's going to happen is your, your, uh, stencil is going to smear all over the place. So kind of dry that off a little bit, you know, dab it, dab it off, just make it tacky. You'd be surprised, you know what I mean? So you'll know when, when that's okay to apply there, okay? And then when it is, go ahead and apply. And, and when you apply it, you want to press down from the middle outwards or the top down. But I start from one side, and I just calmly go. Once you get it in place, hold it in place, okay? Hold it in place. Give some pressure. Okay, don't lift up. This is very important. This is one of the most important if you're doing stencil work. Okay? Take your uh, moistness, moist napkin, and just gently go over those areas. Make sure that it's, it's in there, you know what I'm saying? Okay? Go over it, kind of moisturize it. Very important at this point. Very, very important. Okay? We want the stencil to be as perfect as possible without, uh, unless you're freestyling. I lift up a corner, 
just to see what I did, and then I lift. I lift off. Okay, and voila, we have a nice stencil. I've got all the line work there that I need. It's almost in perfection. The bottom of the foot here, I already knew it wasn't going to come out because of the stencil, but let's just say you wipe off during the course of your tattoo your stencil. Well, save this this because you can pretty, you can line pieces up, okay? So save that stencil off to the side. <clears throat> this isn't for you advanced guys. This is for you beginners out there, okay? This is a beginner. Uh, it's not really a beginner tattoo if you really look at it. It's a traditional tattoo that it drops a lot of, a lot of color like this, you know? People say, "Oh, that's a simple traditional." Well, it's not really because there's a lot of there's a lot of little uh, shadows in here. There's a lot of um, different variances and in depth here the line work is consistent all the way through if you look at those lines they're almost they're, they're perfect all the way through and um, and the color it gradiates and also if you look the edges on the bottoms are left and that gives it an extra added depth to the the, the piece itself but I'm gonna let this dry right now I've got it on cool I'm gonna let it dry I'm gonna take about five go smoke go do whatever you gotta do and then come back. When you come back and it's dry, we're going to apply a little bit of Vaseline or Andy on that to secure that into the pores so that it even creates a better, longer lasting stencil. Okay, um, so at this point, I'm going to go, it's in there. Um, before I even, you know, fix this bottom up where, where I need to, where it didn't really go through, but if you look, it's, uh, it's in there. Okay, we're ready to tattoo on that. It came out pretty well. I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but it came out pretty well. Okay, so uh, I'll give it about a five. I'm going to go smoke me a smoke, and, and I'll be back, and then we'll get to it. I hope it was as good for you as it was for me. <coughs> so uh, just put your needle tube in. Good job just getting set up. Today I'm going to be using a Joey. This is a Joey D. Um, this was actually the Gator frame. I don't know if you guys seen that one. It's a pretty sick little machine. Um, we'll go ahead and drop that in there. I'm going to be using a seven round tight. And actually, I think I will do the lighter trick on this one. Make them a little bit more bald like the Betty. Boy, don't be taking my shit. You're a hater. You know everything. Yeah, so a couple of my videos might get blocked by YouTube. Um, they hit me up today and said that I copyright infringed two chains and Little Wayne. <laughs> so, so I guess they're talking about it playing in the background on my TV. I don't know. I thought having some music playing in the background would have just, you know, been better for me. I like to tattoo with music on. I don't know, I guess Little Wayne and Two Chains were pissed. Alright, in this case, the needle bar is on the bottom and the the loop, the needle bar loop, is facing to the left. Remember, not always. And this is almost the perfect setup here because look at the needle. It's it's right in the middle. So that means that the arm bar is perfectly set. Um, now I just gotta go mess with the the gauges and stuff like that and that's one thing that we need to get used to not doing is adjusting our machines only the depth we we have to get to the point where we're not adjusting anything up here anymore we just grab it load the the needle in tube and go you know I I know that some of you guys are out there probably like me and adjust it all the time we need to get past that point we need to have some confidence and build some confidence in ourselves that our machines are running the way that we want them to and not to touch them because we have a good machine and and uh, when I get going with this business that's exactly what I intend to do I want to set it up to where right out of the box it's ready to go for you guys don't touch nothing if if uh, you know if it's not working or something like that then psh, I'm gonna get on the horn personal one-on-one -on -one. you know what I mean that's how I that's how I operate that's how I roll that's how I know um, that, that it'll be a successful business because I'm like that. I'm not going to be one of these stuck-up manufacturers to where, yo, I'm the shit, 
and I, I can't say hi to you. You know what I mean? No, it doesn't work that way with me. I've never been like that in my life, and I never will be, ever. Um, it's just the way that, that it is. My customer service is going to be to the utmost. And eventually, if I have customer service reps, they're going to go some, through some training and some big-time um, orientation. And um, it's one of the biggest things for me, customer service. If something goes wrong, dude, I want to be on it. You know what I mean? Like this Kurusumi. Two weeks to get here. Um, fine, maybe there was a delay or something, but I I professionally requested a response from Kirasumi.com in um, customer service, and nothing has come back to me not even to this day. To me, that's just a problem. I don't I don't like that at all. So make sure that uh, a little bit, you know, you can go. It's about a dime, maybe a little thicker, maybe about an, uh, a quarter. A diamond and nickel theory is just for really beginning, beginning out. It's just a good theory to go by. You know what I'm saying? So um, basically after that, you just go by experience and um, knowledge, you know. So now that we've had our little smoke, we got some a snack, or we had a little uh, quickie with our, our girls, or if you're a girl, you're a guy, a little lunchtime snack. Um... Now that the, now that the, uh, now that the stencil is dry, let's go ahead and apply some Andy, just a little bit. Open up those pores a little bit, and and your your stencil should be good. It shouldn't smear too much, and it should be in there. You know what I'm saying? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start from the top down because if I started from the bottom up I would smear all this eventually you know with all the wiping and, and everything you need to see where you're going and stuff like that okay so I'm just gonna apply a little bit of that to get going okay now it's time to adjust machines and let's do that okay I know these parts are probably boring. I don't know. You guys let me know if they're too boring, these little parts where I take too long. If you want me to speed them up or cut them out, just let me know. Wrong one. Switch. Wow, I'm at three volts. Six and it's hitting pretty good. Okay. Sounds pretty good there. Make sure everything's tight down. I'm a little bit harder of a hit. Go by the end of it. I'm at 7.6 volts. Seven and a half. We'll see how that goes. Okay. I'm going to hang my needle just a little bit so I can see where I'm going. I'm not going to ride the tube on this one. Sounds nice and smooth. It's, it's hitting pretty well. We'll see how uh, that lays, okay? So we're ready to go. <clears throat> Alright, so this is very awkward for me. Um, I've got to have this leg on the foot pedal, and uh, i got to have my leg up for the camera, so bear with me, guys. It's a difficult one. Okay. Let's get that first one in there. Proper three-point stretch. 
and try to go, hold it as a pencil, okay, and try to keep that 45 degree angle, and once you sink that, go straight into it. Okay, first line's in. And I really don't want to wipe at this point, you know, too much. But I want to see where my machine's at. Okay, so if I can just get that area, and then we'll get it in there. Okay, I want to make sure that my machine is, is doing okay. Which, the line is okay, but I need that proper, that three-point stretch. Okay. So, again, bear with me. I need to get that three-point stretch. Very difficult, guys. <laughs> Shit. Very difficult. Okay. Lines in there. Um, it's going to be a little hard to get in there because of the angles and everything, but we'll adjust this just a little bit. power supply just a little all right guys please forgive me I'm extremely awkward um, bad positioning here foot pedal and uh, and position to get you guys going here the first line that I sunk um, it was really just a, a cutter I had to adjust my machine I should have showed you guys what I did um, yeah that first the first line that I dropped was a cutter I've got it to where it's laying pretty good now, um, but you can see the swelling in here just a little bit. You don't want that. You know, we, we always try to get that single pass, and we don't want that swelling because that swelling, once it starts swelling, it's going to expel the ink. It's not going to accept any more ink. So you've got to get this product, and I'll find out what it is. I don't know what it is, but uh, there's this product that cools down the area. If any one of you guys know what that product is, shoot me a message, or shoot shoot everybody a, a a message on what that is when the swelling starts to take place boom you rub this stuff on it it cools it down um, and then the swelling could go down because one of the major things is it starts swelling we're done if it swells up too bad we're we're fucked you know too fast of a machine too deep you know stuff like that so let's go ahead and try to sink some more I'm trying to get a proper stretch on here that's probably another reason the, the position that I am is very difficult for me. I'm just going to hit this line one more time. Just real lightly. Now, I'm trying to show you guys can see by me getting a three point stretch here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Probably not. I'm going to go backwards on it. Fuck it. Okay, so basically I just did this part here. On the outside on the ear. Okay. And it's in there be a little better. I'm going to come back. I just want to get the stencil outlined so I'm not really trying to do single passes here.
really need that proper stretch because then it's going to dig a hole. So I'm trying to get one and show you guys. Very hard for me to twist my my body here, but all right. It was more on like a flat piece of paper I could show you guys a little bit better. But my foot's like <laughs> crooked and shit on this, so. I'm going to shade it here real quick. I'm going to line this part. Alright, sometimes you got to rinse out a little bit. The cup. Alright. Starts getting a little gooey. Always move backwards. Trying to get a proper grip on her. But if you guys can see, I hope you guys can see.
Yeah, you can't see. Time to wipe, okay? And we'll start getting like this. It's time to wipe some of that residual because I'm upside down. Me being upside down right now is kind of difficult to see where I'm at, you know what I mean? So instead of spraying down, I'm just gonna spray on my cloth. And a cool little trick too, I'll show you in a minute. See a couple little mess ups right in here. Not too bad. I'm gonna rub too much just to see where we're at. You know what I mean? Cool little trick is to take a little bit of Vaseline or Andy, rub it around the area instead of spraying down your whole um, tat and smearing up your stencil. Just take a clean cloth, dryer, a dry part, and just take it like that. Okay, and right now I'm not really focused too much on my line work. I'm gonna go ahead and fix all of that up. I just want to get my stencil down. You know, I'm already starting to lose piece in here. We have a problem with that too. You know, and we don't want to lose the whole thing. So, uh, okay, yeah, that goes down like that. Okay. put this quick in, this line in real quick. It's one little piece so I don't skip it. Okay, so for now, I'm going to do that, take a little...